Hello, friends. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here in the Texas Hill Country. Yesterday we had freezing rain and now it's in the 60s. I just love it here. Um, I have been shying away from doing gardening videos, specifically how to plant whatever the plant is, because I'm no expert. There are people and channels on YouTube with much more experience. I mean, they're the ones you should go to for gardening advice. Um, but saying that, there is one topic nobody seems to be touching. I can't find any videos on it absolutely nothing and so I've got Prairie with me I was just looking to where she was I it's just totally avoided and it's obvious to me that people don't know how to grow this item I'm always getting people saying that they wish they had it and yet they can all they gotta do is plant it and what I'm talking about is growing and planting rocks. They are so forgivable. They're so easy. I don't know why more people don't grow them. Um, we have so many rocks here because the ancestors that um, settled this land was specifically planting them. And they grew. So today I thought I would share a little bit about growing rocks. Now... First of all, the soil type. I mean, well, okay, the soil type, any kind of soil. You can grow rocks in any kind of soil. It does not matter if it's, there's a lot of acid in your soil or it's more alkaline. It doesn't matter um, if you've got clay, sand. I mean, it does not matter what kind of soil you have. Rocks will grow in it. Now, your type of soil will influence what, which rocks grow better. And in fact, there's been evidence to suggest, shows that if like you plant rocks, certain, like maybe if I got, I have mostly limestone rock here. And if I were to go get granite from another part of the country and try to plant granite, I'm not going to grow, it's not going to reproduce as granite. It's going to alter its chemical, you know, the, the chemicals, the composition of the soil will influence it and each with each generation of rock that grows, it's going to become more and more limestone. So there's that. You can't just grow any kind of rock. I mean, you can try, but it probably, what I'm saying is it's best to get the rock that grows naturally in your region. It will grow faster. It will reproduce faster you'll just have a better success. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that you know the your soil type is going to influence what kind of um, rocks well grow in your region. But honestly you really can't go I mean it, it's really hard to kill rocks. I mean they are probably one of the easiest things to grow. And so today I want to share with you you know, how to grow rocks. Okay, as you can see, we are along my driveway. And this area along the driveway, I want to grow more rocks. In fact, um, my goal is to make it so cars could actually park here someday. Um, that there wouldn't be so much grass and that cars could park in this area. And so, um, I'm going to plant some, just a couple rocks just to show you how. I have planted quite a few rocks along this area already. Um, I've got a couple good seed rocks. Now, let me get in the sun here. Rocks, planting rocks is, well, first of all, you, you, you want some, just like potatoes. You have seed potatoes and, you know, garlic, you 
get the cloves apart and you know the, see it's very similar with rocks you need a decent sized rock so you may have if you have no rocks on your property you may need to go to a store a, a rock store and you don't want them polished you don't want anything done to them you want them as natural in fact if you can go to a riverbed or somewhere you know not very far if you know of a river or a lake or something that has a lot of rocks and where it's legal you don't want to go to a state park or a national park someplace like that because you could be committing a felony then but um oopsie i dropped my rocks um but you just want to go you know if you have oopsie if you have no rocks on your land whatsoever to use the seed rocks then go to a beach go to a river go somewhere now you don't want sand those are too small um the and they're often are infertile they won't grow because they've been the water has wa rubbed them so much and in fact you don't want to go into a river where the water may have made the rocks really smooth and polished because often that has caused a rock to become infertile the more jackety the more um like this is a fantastic um seed rock this one's pretty good too because i mean it was just it's come it's going to turn into more of a flat rock when it grows which will be good for my purpose here which is to make a place where people could park their cars <clears throat> and so um that's why i chose this rock so you need to find yourself some good rocks now you don't want to plant them too close because well it, it will take a few years i usually don't do anything the first year you you may think that you planted dead rocks because nothing happens but give them a year or two and suddenly you will start finding more and more rocks in your area that you planted them so you don't want you need some space between your rocks a, a good foot or two feet is ideal now there's only one condition that could prevent you from planting rocks honestly you can plant them year round if you live in a climate like i do where the soil doesn't get hard i mean if you live up north where the soil the, the ground freezes and you can't dig into it at the moment uh yeah you, you need to be able to get a shovel you need to be able to dig a hole to plant your rock now the hole doesn't have to be very big it can be only you know just you just need a teeny bit of dirt to cover up your rock you really don't need much in fact if the rains come and wash the dirt off usually it will still be okay though it you know if you can get a good you know half inch of soil on top that's best but it does it really rocks are so easy to grow and so forgiving so i picked this spot here it's kind of at the tail end of where I want to go, but I know I haven't, I mean, I've already got some rocks here, so that's good, that was just growing naturally. Where's my um, bigger thingy? I can't remember what, oh, there it is. Um, a, I could have brought an actual shovel or even a hand shovel. My problem is with a little um, digging shovel is mine broke, so I just brought this. This will do good. Now, I'm gonna look for so there's already a bunch of rocks right here. So I don't want this area. Um, I'm going to find a spot that doesn't really have much rocks already. Ooh, I'm getting more and more rocks. So we need to go this way. Um, like I said, you know, I started playing rocks when I first moved here. And they've just been doing so unbelievably well. I think right here, I'm not seeing any rocks here. So I'm going to... Put my seed rocks down. I got we have prairies with me. And so um, I got her on a leash now. And I'm just gonna dig a little hole. Let's see if I can find ah. Let's see. A little hole here. Now I think I'm gonna plant my flat rock here and then not much dirt. I really don't have much dirt right here, but I'm just going to cover it up. I mean, honestly, you don't have to go very deep. It's it's incredibly forgiving. Um, I mean, rocks almost never die. And oh, let me hold on. I mean, 
Rocks almost never die. I, it's hard to kill a rock. It really, really is. They, they just do... Okay, this is another good spot, I think. Um, let's see, let's see. Ah, um, they, they really... They, they, they just do so well. And I mean, honestly, their water... Where's my rock? <sighs> honestly, you know, like a lot of plants, um, you, you, you know, you, they need, you, they're either water huggers or they're, um, don't like as much water. Rocks, yeah, if a rock gets a lot of water, it's going to grow faster than if it get, doesn't get water. But honestly, if like you have periods of drought, don't worry. That will just be times where like a rock can hibernate a little bit and use the stores of its water to kind of get growing more or um, you just just recoup itself and get for, you know, when the water does come, it will have a surge of growth. It's like, I remember a few years ago in Death Valley, they got a ton of water. I mean, the rains were just absolutely astronomical. And they had more flowers. They saw flowers that hadn't been seen in over 20 years. It was re unbelievable. And that's kind of what rocks are like. You know, that they'll produce new seed rocks and they'll grow. I mean, now the rock has to get pretty big before it will send off seed rocks. But um, it can take a good five to 10 years. So honestly, if there's an area where you would love to have a rock garden or if you would like to be able to what what prairie you're she's wanting to come this way for some reason um, if you would like to maybe grow rocks to be able to you know have your driveway because you don't want to plant your rocks in a driveway where the a car is going to be driving over it all the time that that's not a good idea now you, you want an area where you can just leave your rock undisturbed and then, you know, when it's undisturbed, it will start growing. If it gets disturbed all the time because, you know, vehicles are driving over it, it's just going to kill it. I mean, that's really, there's only a couple things that are going to kill a rock. And that's going to be driving over it all the time, polishing it, sanding it, you know, doing things like what a river would do. Or if a company that sells rocks, you know, and tries to make it all pretty, paint and that kind of thing. You want your rock, Prairie, come back here. Come back here. You want your rock as natural as possible and, and undisturbed as possible. And then, then you know it's going to be a, a living rock and it will grow. So I hope that was helpful to you and that if you, there's an area on your property that you've been wanting rocks Oops, I can't go that way. Very why did you make me come this way? Um, if there's an area on your property that you have been wanting to grow rocks, to have rocks there, and you never knew that you could actually grow rocks, then I suggest go to a river, go to a lake, go somewhere where you know you can legally collect rocks. You know, you won't be violating the law. And get yourself some rocks. And before you know it, you'll have rocks everywhere. I mean, they're just everywhere. No big deal. So I hope this was a very educational, helpful, you know, tutorial on how to plant and grow rocks. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you plant a rock garden, let me know. Let me know how it's going. And may God bless you.